In this episode, we're here talking about how to create rapid growth in your business. Welcome to Thriving Launch with Louise Congdon and Kamala Chambers, the show for heart-centered entrepreneurs who want it all. Do you have a product or service that you would like to sell online? Or maybe you've been thinking about it, but you're reserved to do it because you need a website, you need complicated systems, and you need to spend money. Well, I've created a completely free course that teaches you how to use Facebook in a purely organic way. This means no ads and no money are needed. You can use Facebook completely free. So head on over to thrivinglaunch.com, opt into my Profit from Social Media course. I'm going to teach you the free methods to using Facebook to make money today. Hey, Thrive and Launchers. Today, we're going to be talking to nine round owner and CEO Shannon Hudson, who has created one of the fastest growing businesses in the fitness industry. And we're going to learn his secrets to helping your business grow. All right, Thriving Launchers, without further ado, let's get Shannon on the show. Shannon, are you ready to launch? I am ready. So, hey, one of the things that's really impressive about Nine Round, I know you guys have been all over the media. You guys have grown and become an international business, and it's really incredible to watch how fast you guys have grown, what you guys are up to, especially because it's in the fitness industry, something I'm incredibly passionate about. I'm curious, what are some of the things that really helped you guys grow? I mean, you you must have had a lot of systems in place and really understood that. Yeah, great question. Um, you know, one of the things that's helped us grow is, uh, number one, keeping the business model very simple. I think it's uh, the key to success. I mean, I, I do not like complexity. I think most humans like simple processes and simple concepts and simple things to grasp. And um, I think keeping a business that's very simple is one of the most attractive things in the world. And that's what we've tried to do with Nine Run. We do not have a lot of moving parts. We do one thing and we and we try to do that one thing better than anyone in the world. You look at any great brand like uh, Starbucks, you know, they're great at coffee. That's their thing, right? They're not going to start doing pizza, you know, or you look at Five Guys or In-N-Out Burger, some of those, you know, they do one thing and they do it great. So too many people I see and too many entrepreneurs try to be everything to everyone and do this and do that. And I tell you, it creates confusion in the marketplace and they're not good at anything. So simplicity in the model is is key. I love that. And it's something that is really hard to do, I think, for people who they have a lot of ideas, they have a lot of uh, passions, and they want to bring it all forward, and they want to be able to help everyone. And I know what I say to those people, but I'd love to hear what you would say to someone like that, struggling with that in business. Yeah, yeah, you're so right. I mean, I see it all the time. Uh, I mean, people come to me all the time with ideas of businesses and, you know, wanting me to help them and this and that. And I tell them the same. I say, get great at one thing, get, you know, hone in to a niche and be amazing at it. Right. And we, you know, like for nine round, we do a 30 minute full body kickboxing circuit workout. That's it. I mean, we don't now, could we go into personal training one-on-one? We could, could childcare, showers, smoothie bar. Could we go all those directions? You know, we could, but we don't, we, we just want to stay laser focused on what we do and be the best in the world at it. And that's what I tell people to do is called focus. Right. And I, and I heard this great, I love acronyms. Right. And I'll give you a couple of them. Focus. I read this and I think, uh, Robert Kiyosaki, uh, made, it was in one of his books. And it said, follow one course until successful focus. Right. And I I just always keep that in my brain. And I know earlier we were talking and you said you love systems and another acronym for system, which I love is save yourself time, energy and money. So system focus and systems is the key. Yes, that is fantastic. And it's something that I I really appreciate and admire about what you guys are doing. What is something that you would recommend, just like a concrete uh, call to action that you would give to people to simplify their business? Uh, great question. Uh, sim- simplifying your business. I think, uh, you know, if you watch that movie, I don't know if you guys saw it, uh, The Founder. 
by uh, it was a it's a documentary. Michael Keaton played yeah, the fantastic uh, movie. Played Ray Kroc, and what they did is they looked at the menu and found what were the items that they were selling the most of, and eighty percent of the revenue or ninety percent was cheeseburgers and fries and milkshakes. And so that's what they did. They cut all the the BS out. I would tell someone take your business and find out what are the biggest revenue streams in there. What is the biggest revenue stream? And and let's hone in on that and be and be great at it. If you own a restaurant or if you um, are in the fitness space, be great at a certain aspect of fitness. Fitness is such a big genre it's a bit it's such a big thing there's so many places you could go with it you know i mean for example zumba they've done a great job of niching the dance fitness i mean they, they that's what they do and they do great at it you know so pick the niche find something in your business that you love you're passionate about and hone in on that and be amazing at it so that's what i would tell uh, anyone with for advice right now as I'm listening to you, I'm reminded of my conversation that I had earlier today with one of my clients, and he was kind of afraid that niching down was dangerous, like being too niche. And I gave him an example of one of our previous guests who came on our show, Jordan Reasoner, and not only did he niche down, he niched down to a point that it was like, only if you are the exact perfect person for what they have, will you even discover them. Do you find any kind of danger in that? Well, I think you could niche too far. I think uh, that, you know, it, it's a fine balance, right? You need to find something that reaches the masses, but yet is niched. You know, fitness reaches the masses. Everyone needs to work out. Everyone is star for time. So that's why we do 30 minutes, but yet it's still, it's niche to just kickboxing. So that's where we found a good, a good balance there. And I think there is some danger there, but you just, you know, but you'll find it, you know, the old seek and you shall find. And if people would just do that instead of trying to be everything through everybody and halfway, uh, I think the next skill they have to learn is to be able to sell. Selling people are not born salesmen. I'm telling you, I promise you. Some people say they're born, so they're not. You have to learn this skill. And everyone is selling. I'm selling my wife on where I want to eat tonight. I'm selling my kids to go to bed at 930. I'm selling this member to come back to do another workout tomorrow. I'm selling my employees to follow my lead and do what I'm asking them to do. I'm, I'm got to be able to ask for the money and ask for people to enroll in the program, become a franchise owner. That's the next skill. Once you find your niche, you got to be able to sell. So that, that's what I would tell someone if they were asking me about some advice there. Yeah, the approach I really like to take with niching is really look at what is the solution that you're offering. Yep. Um, and that's that's what you guys are doing. You're focused on the solution, and the solution is specific. You got it. You got it. For, for us, the solution is time because everyone's busy. You know, with our model, there's no class time. It's a circuit. So whenever you walk in the door, if it's 513 or 637, you go, you're going to get a trainer-led experience in 30 minutes, trainer-led workout in 30 minutes. So that's what we prey on. That's our unique selling proposition, and that's you know what makes us different. What I really think is cool, too, is that the fitness industry is a huge industry. Like if I type up fitness center, mm -hmm. I mean, how do people find you when they go online? Because it's just such a big industry that it's got to be really incredibly hard to get found or for people to recognize you as being like, that's the place I want to check out. Yeah, it's, it, it is very hard and it's very competitive. And but you're you're talking to a competitor here, you know, so I love to compete. Um, and you're right. You know, we sometimes we don't do very well online. So I think, you know, um, the, the best the way people find us is word of mouth. Current members say you have got to come do this or someone at work says, what are you doing? You look like you've lost weight. You're looking, you know, you have more energy. What are you doing? They're like, hey, I do nine round. It's a 30 minute workout. Come come do this with me. So online. Yeah, maybe we're not the best. And yes, we need to get better at it. But the way people find us is by delivering results back to that's problem solving, giving solutions, helping people uh, feel better about themselves. And that's how people find us. I really love that. I think word of mouth is something that's highly untapped. I'm curious, is there a certain strategy that you guys utilize to help people talk about you more, or be more comfortable suggesting that, you know, they check out your gym? I know that, uh, you know, one of the great mentors, um, can't think of his name, but one of the things that he kept saying is that like, 
you need to have all these different channels in your business dialed in and you can borrow from different businesses and some businesses are excellent at referrals. Some of them are great at email webinars. And the more that you can include all of that into a business, then you get these nine pillars of a successful business that regardless of what falls out, there's always something there to replace it in case that one of the pillars gets weak for whatever reason. I'm curious, is there a certain strategy that you guys utilize or something that helps you kind of use that word of mouth? You nailed it. And you said it so right. You know, I've also heard that one is the most dangerous number, right? So you can't have just one strategy and, and do one thing for marketing. You have to have many poles in the water, right? You have to do many things. So, but the way we get referrals is number one, giving customers results. Number one, making sure, you know, if they want to get back in the skinny jeans, hey, let's make sure they, they get back in their skinny jeans. Hey, let's call them if they don't show up and check on them. I mean, I, I like to joke, we're the only fitness center in the world that wants people to show up. Most people just want you to pay and hope you forget about it, right? We we want you to show. Our clubs are very small. We only need two, 300 members to, to do very well. And we want you to show up. We want you to see results. Number one, we, we give the customer results. Number two, we ask for referrals. We're not shy about saying, hey, we love you. We want more people like you. Who do you think can come in with you next week? It's bring a friend week. And who can you, who can you bring in to work out with you? It's always more fun with a buddy. And uh, we'll give them a 10-day pass. We'll give them a free week pass to, to work out with you. So number one, give them results. Number two, don't be shy in asking for referrals. That is good. That is really important. And that's the thing that it's so simple. It's just easy to overlook <laughs> because it's so simple. Before we wrap up here, is there any last tips that you want to leave the Thriving Launchers with, your your number one strategy that you want to w- want us all to walk away with? Uh, the number one strategy is the focus. As, as the CEO, I get pulled a lot of directions every single day, but I have one focus, to be the number one kickboxing chain in the world, and that's my drive every single day. So, you, you know, when you get up, you got to have one thing that pops in your brain that's your driving force that pulls you that like a magnet in one direction and that's it i'm going to be number one i'm competitive i like to fight i like to fight in the ring i like to fight in business and and i want to be number one so those of you that are listening and you're not a fighter in the ring that's okay but you need to be a fighter in life and put that focus get that focus honed in niche down and go for it thriving launchers I hope you picked up something from today's episode. If there's something I've taken away, it's that energy. Wake up with a driving, something that's driving you. Have a goal and have it be really clear. Have it be clear in your mind what you want to accomplish. Have it clear in your mind what you do for your clients and have it clear how you're going to get there. But first and foremost is waking up with that driving and that burning desire to be number one or to be the best, however that looks for you. It really is reminiscent of Napoleon Hill, and it really speaks to why Nine Round has done so well. So Thriving Launchers, hope you got something from today's episode, and we'll catch you on the next one on the next episode. See you soon, y'all. You've been listening to the Thriving Launch Podcast. For books and resources related to today's episode, make sure to head over to thrivinglaunch.com. We'll see you there.